Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video. Today we're going to play some Riven in the top lane up against the matchup that literally all of you guys have been asking for, uh, which is a Valdebeer top lane. Now we have Conqueror with Triumph with Alacrity and Last Stand and we also have the Free Boots with the 5% CDR pretty much standard. We also have Ignite because we're going to be like uh, playing super aggressive against this guy. Now, something that I want to mention, guys, something that absolutely no one of you guys on YouTube currently knows about. Um, on stream, I'm currently doing like an unranked uh, to master, uh, which is this account right now. Where I'm playing like kind of like variety champions, but also playing Riven. But anyways, we're currently playing... Um, we just got out of placement. We're currently Silver 4 right now. Uh, we're actually being placed into the Gold 1 ELO games. So that's currently where we are at. If you guys want to be a part of this, don't forget to join my stream, guys. Okay. Okay, we just let the guy go there. But yeah, anyways, don't forget about uh, checking out my stream. Because this is actually live right now. Okay, so the way how this matchup works is pretty simple. The new Volibear is actually a really easy matchup for uh, for Riven right now. It's really easy, but you have to like kind of wait for le your level three because that's where the things will become very easy. Okay. So wait, uh, basically the way how this matchup works, you want to short trade Volibear up to the point where he gets below fifty percent health, and if you do it properly, oh, we're just going to do like a full trade here. Still have the potion, kind of mess it up a little bit. But ultimately, if you wait up for your third Q and you do like a W and like auto attack, you should be able to get like a free lane. Actually, this guy's ganking is so wrong. This guy's ganking the lane when literally the lane is being pushed towards me. That's really bad. This guy is going like insanely far. I don't know why he's risking this. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> All right, I'll take the kill with my flash ignite. But anyways, uh, this Sejuani gank was actually really bad because it's really bad when junglers gank your lane when uh, the lane is completely being pushed in towards your tower. When there's literally like two waves about to crash into your tower. It's really bad. I've had to accept... Um, the fact that this jungler was going to go in and I just had to back off and take my farm because if I were to lose this farm right here on our tower I would be behind an insane amount of XP. So we don't want this to happen like That's too much But anyways guys like I want to mention uh, this matchup It pretty much comes down to short trading this guy through your third Q and your W and then like leaving an auto attack in between every single time. And then disengaging with your E. And if you repeat this long enough, if you repeat this like a couple times in a row, uh, Volibear will eventually get below like 80 to 70% health. And that's when you can like all in this guy with your Ignite and your Ultimate. Like that's the way how this matchup works. You do have to be really careful though. If you happen to run out of your Q and E, uh, if he stuns you, he can literally chase you down, so you gotta be really careful with how you um, do the trading pattern against this guy. Okay, it's being pushed towards me, so we're gonna be freezing this out. I'm gonna turn around real quick, do like a free trade. Like another. I want to do like another. Oh, wait. I can take him out here. One more stun. Thank you very much. So the mistake he made right there, it was, um, the matchup was, first of all, the matchup was in a good spot right now. We were getting the level 6 first before Volibear did, so the lane was actually being pushed towards me, which is really good. And as soon as I were to get my level 6, I could all in this guy and get a free kill, right? But in this case, Volibear actually took a tower shot and... We took that opportunity, we went in for the all-in immediately. Okay, let's go back to base real quick. We're going to grab another Warhammer. I'm not going to be able to reset this lane. 
Maybe I can. He actually uses E right now. I'll walk up to him in the third queue. Nice. Now I can reset. We just gotta be really careful of a moment right now. Thank you very much. We can take one plating and then we can go back. We just gotta be really careful of Amumu. He could be coming topside. I saw Amumu around here last time, so uh, this guy could be here right now. Yeah. My expectations were right about this. Nice. We grab this. We're gonna grab like a Kindle gems, always pretty nice to have. We'll also get like a long sword. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna be leaving the entire full build in the description of the video. So don't forget to check that out, guys. And with that being said, it's actually quite interesting to see a Valdebir top lane with uh, Flesh and Ghost. It's actually not that uh, not that bad either. either. Like, uh, Valdebir can push. And if he wants to all in you, he can just pop the Ghost. And then he can all, uh, like use everything he needs. In case it might go on cooldown, he can just chase it with ghosts. It's actually pretty good. Alright, we're gonna be freezing again. Just gonna go for that CS right there. Just do like a quick short trade. Every time he stuns you, you can use your shield to um, disengage as well. Backing up again, do like another one. This is like the kind of trading pattern you want to have. Constantly short trading and disengaging until he gets low enough. Let's see if he's going to stay. Okay, my ultimate's coming back in five seconds. Oh, whoops. We have to place a ward down for a moment too. Okay, we'll be pushing it in and then uh, reset. We just want to reset right now so we can force follow beer into a bad um, position again. Every time he goes for a CS, that's like an opportunity to do go for short trade. Oh, he's got out of stun now. Okay. We have my jungler right here, but I need my combo. Okay, we got this guy. Thank you very much. The timing of this was actually great. I can push the platings. I had to flash out of the Momo Q because if I were to get hit by the Momo Q right there, I would be 100% dead. So it's we had to dodge it. Nice. We can take two platings at least. I'm not going to stay in two for too long. I just need a little bit more to get my black lever. Just a little bit. Let's see if we can train him. Like, we got the red buff right now, so we don't really need to have my ultimate. I can just, like, kind of freeze these out. He's pretty smart trying to start off the, um, the trade with a W. Okay, here we go. He does not have a ward right now. Oh, he's actually going for the old end. Right, we can kill him right now. He's going to ult. Okay.
We could kill him right now, but I need to have a plant at least. It's not there. It's all been taken. Nice. Alright, here we go. So now we have the um, black lever. We currently have like a lead of five kills right now. We also have a pretty nice farming lead too. So pretty much all we have to do at this point is charging my Qs. And then immediately going for the all in after. Wherever he might be. It should be a free kill the moment we engage. And if he happens to go back right now. Uh, we can just stop him between the two towers, so... Even if he's coming back to lane right now, we can just uh, force him anyways. I'm gonna place a ward down right here so I can clearly see him coming. There we go, we can now force this guy. Thank you very much. Like, as soon as his stun runs out, you can pretty much all in this guy and there's nothing he can do. You can just dive him out of our tower. Okay. We got this thing. Amumu's currently bottom, so we don't have to worry about Amumu. Taking up the next wave, and then we can go back to base. We could possibly get the Ghost Blade. Or we can go for Death Stance too, since they have like a pretty strong team, to be honest. We will see. We can stay for a little bit longer, so. We can just farm up for my uh, Death Stance too. It's also pretty good. Okay, so Ghostplay would be really nice for snowballing, but that then scales very well towards the uh, mid late game. And since they have a, a, a team comp like Fallaby who is pretty tanky and they have like an Amumu who, who is essentially pretty good in team fights, um, we're just gonna go for the ultimate classic build Black Lever into Dead Stands. We can just farm out all these camps right here. Actually, this guy has been. I didn't notice Amumu taking that blue buff before. Did he just... Did he just... Did he just jump there when I was passing it? Learn from your mistakes. Ah, whatever. It's fine. Let's push it out right now. Oh. <laughs> there goes the... The cannon. The beam of the channel. Let's take the next wave here. Oh wow, he just turns the moment I jump, so it, it, it didn't work. Usually if I um if I wall jump over to the opponent, usually I always hover the um, the mouse over the champion. But if the champion actually turns the moment you jump and it's like going too far, it, it won't work. Oh, whoops. So top lane is currently being pushed in. Bot lane is currently like even out. It's actually getting pushed in towards us. Well, very close at least. What we're going to do now. We have my flash up. We can try to force a team fight. And if that doesn't work, I can go top and try to walk up to this guy on his back. And then just try to kill him. Let's see if it works. This Volibear is overextending pretty hard, so I'm going to take the opportunity right here. Uh, he's actually continuing pushing, okay. I can fight him without my ultimate too, so... <laughs> he walks around. He's still going to stay? He's actually staying? Let's see if he's going to go back inside of one of these bushes. I'm not going to use my ultimate. I don't need it. Oh, 
Five seconds from our Q. Oh, wow. He's actually so much faster than I thought. <laughs> Alright. No, not a problem. We'll push. I've wasted a lot of time into chasing this guy. For something that I didn't even catch. We'll take the camp here too. Something that I would recommend doing all the time if you're split pushing or you're pushing on the side lanes. Take out the camps guys. Take out as many camps as you can because not only do you get more XP, but you're also denying your jungler, uh, I mean your enemy jungler XP too. He might enter one of these bushes. He does not have ultimate right now. I think he's probably gonna pass. Oh wow. Oh wow. It's not happening this time. <laughs> that was that was a really nice attempt to walk away, but that's that's not happening. Now it's just a matter of just constantly like farming up and snowballing this way. What is this guy doing here? Dragon is up at this moment, so I'm just gonna walk up to the dragon too. If a Mumu decides to walk up over to Dragon, I could try to stop him here. Okay, he's not coming over. I can just take the next wave now. Nope. Okay. Let's make our way back to base right now. We're gonna be buying uh We're gonna be buying the edge of the night. We will also buy this. Uh I can I can just buy this right now. We can just Upgraded later on into the edge of the night. There's currently a lot of fights happening around um, around the jungle at the moment. I kind of want to move up to top lane right now and catch this Volibear, but I don't want to invest too much time into um, getting this Volibear. I just want to push out the lane right now and then use that to roam to mid and bottom and force the team fights there. I don't I don't want to spend too much time into Volibear. They're actually getting kills. I'm gonna get this camp for myself too. I'm gonna deny it for the enemy jungler. If we keep farming up like this. There's no way that the enemy team will ever outskill us because I'm constantly taking the camps away from them. So even if we're not getting that many kills throughout the mid game, we're still snowballing like very hard. Even getting the red buff. Oh, whoops. We can take this camp here too. We're going to deny everything for Momo. Nice. Let's see what we can do here. They might pass. We'll even see. That's not looking very good. I kind of wanted to ER into getting three kills, but. And there we have the quadra kill, not a penta. Anyways, um, we've been taking so many camps. We've been taking so many kills around the side lane, split pushing like all day. We are insanely far ahead in this game right now. Like insane amounts. They barely do any damage on us at this point.
trying to fight this. Uh, I can life steal. <laughs> we could turn on this guy. They're actually going to try to chase me here. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Yeah, he will keep chasing. <laughs> they keep chasing. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna accept. I'm just gonna go back. I'm just gonna go back. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna stay. Nice. So now... We have the Edge of the Night. And now, the next item we will buy... Is gonna be a Guardian's Angel. The Guardian's Angel this game is very nice because um, they have a Jin who essentially does like, he has pretty much a ton of damage. Also, the sooner we can get the Guardian's Angel, the better we will be off. If As soon as we get Guardian's Angel, we can just engage in. They will have to uh, pull through my Guardian's Angel first. Okay, mid and hip is currently down, so the best thing would be right now if we were to go bot lane, like as one guy and have like four people top lane. But um, there's one exception to this: the dragon is spawning at the moment. Uh, we will have to get that first. I'm just gonna force the dragon right now. If if they happen to show up, I could just fight them immediately. So. They're currently grouping up around Baron. Oh, so close. <laughs> that is so close. They're fighting around mid lane currently. Not a problem for us. We will be split pushing bot lane, taking every single farm we possibly can. Hopefully forcing the tower as well, and then we're going to get all the camps as well, so... Would have been a lot better if my team uh, were not to get caught there. We could run mid lane right now and immediately force these two guys and get a free kill. Oh, she didn't go for me? Okay. Hmm. I wanted to I wanted to e, uh, e R flash and then kill that Lux instantly and then go for Valdebeer, but uh, that's not happening. I'll just wait out for my forty seconds. Let's get the scamp here as well. We just constantly keep on farming up when nothing is happening around the map, so we can stay ahead of them and keep denying them more. Like in games like this one, we can split all day, that's pretty good, but we can also like farm everything we can from the enemy jungle, because that literally denies them everything. If you play into like a scaling team comp, but you constantly take away their farm, um, they won't be able to scale very well. Thank you, that was hot. She made a hot chocolate milk for me. <laughs> Alright. Let's put this game to an end. We have to flash up right now, so... Um, we can just force a fight. And an end. Okay, that's uh, that's a quite interesting uh, Momo ultimate. I'm just waiting for my opportunities. They can go in if they want to. I can clean up all of them here.
I didn't necessarily have to use my uh, my flash there. I just want to make sure I get close enough for the support. Okay. Nice. Yep, that's pretty much going to be the game, I think. Like, we can just force the last tower. These guys are not a problem for us. Or maybe they actually manage to keep this up. Yeah, we could go. Just, we, we could just go back to base right now, uh, get the Guardian's Angel, and then force the next team fight. Not a problem. They've actually managed to keep this uh, to keep this game up. I'm surprised. Okay, let's make our way back. So now we're going to have fourth the Guardian's Angel. And after getting the Guardian's Angel, uh, our final item will be a Last Whisper. And that pretty much explains for itself. Volibear has a ton of armor right now. Sunfire Cape, Ninja Tabis. Uh, Amumu is building a ton of armor very soon. Uh, Lux is getting a Zhonya sooner or later on. Uh, they have like a bunch of Ninja Tabis and overall they are too tanky. Also the base armor, they have everything that makes them super tanky so... Let's go in here. Just force a fight with these guys. I just like kind of dancing around the enemy team so I can actually dodge the Momo Q in case he would Q. My teammates are making a lot of mistakes. I can just keep on farming the enemy jungle while nothing is really happening. That's the blue buff. We have a lead of roughly, uh, or actually, three and four levels. This massive. So right now the best possible thing would be to go one guy bot lane, so me split pushing bot lane, and then having four people going top lane and forcing the towers, that's all we have to do now at this point. They could even go Baron if they wanted to. We just have to uh You just have to give me less some space here. I'll just ping for the Baron. I don't think they notice it. Yeah. They're trying to fight something that you can't fight. Like... <laughs> uh, I don't think they notice. I don't think he even notices that Volibear is coming, to be honest. Four people at Baron, and then... One guy bot lane, that's all we have to do right now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna be building up the creep wave a little bit. Whenever my teammates spawn, we can actually, uh, we, can, we can force it. Okay. This is our moment. Now we can push. They're distracted. Yeah, they're being distracted. Now we can force this tower. One auto attack for this one.
<laughs> what is this? Wait, 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 hold on. They just keep on chasing. We're playing dodging game here. Whoa. Okay, there's a Lux Ultimate coming. I am pretty certain it's gonna come. Okay, we've got the final tower. All we need right now is just one and head. Nice. Let's just go for the red, uh, red potion. There was so much dodging involved in this because we were in the middle, we were in the center of a team fight. And I had to dodge a Lux Q. I had to get close to Jin. I had a Volibear running up towards me. Okay, we got this guy. I'm looking, uh, oh, hey, Lux. I can barely see the Lux Gears. We still don't have the Baron. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Here comes the problem, guys. Let's face it right now. Currently, throughout the 10 minutes, the we had an opening of around 10 long minutes of sitting bot lane and potentially 1v2ing or 1v3ing on the side lanes. Now here comes the problem. My teammates have never ever forced top lane as four. They have never forced the Baron. They have never done anything. This, um, the, the only thing they've done was running bot lane and then dying. It happened like four times in a row. It's still okay. We can still carry this. But. It's kind of unfortunate because we could have ended this like 10 minutes ago. That's the only thing I'm saying. We can still get the final dragon. It's gonna ma it's gonna make us win. We can still split push. We can still use our flash next upcoming team fight and potentially kill all of them. But it's just kind of annoying that my team has through this so far, like literally so far. They didn't listen to my calls. Good stun. It was on cooldown. Great. Now we can uh, force this thing finally. Hopefully the moon is not here. I kind of wanted to 1v3 on Jin. If I actually had the stun, I could have uh, killed Jin. Okay, we've also got my uh, my Guardian's Angel coming up very shortly, so... I'll be farming for my 6 item. Long game, to be honest. Okay, I told my team to go top, but they're not going top. You see, thanks so much for the resub, man. Thank you so much. Okay. So now, it is only a matter of my teammates going top as four now, and then basically uh, ending the game that way. I'm just kind of waiting around here. They're listening to my call right now, which is great. 
They're doing the right thing now, so we should be able to win. They're chasing me right now, which is very interesting, to be honest. So, four people are currently bot lane. And my team is currently top lane taking the tower right now. Okay, now we can take this in hip. Now we have the space to do it. You will just be forcing in hip. Uh, Jin is a problem here. I've got my Guardian's Angel, but it's not going to save me once I get caught into one stun. Should have kept my flash for Jin instead. Kind of want to hit. Um, I kind of want to hit the support and Lux at the same time, but it didn't work as I wanted to. Okay. Nice. We could have ended this like 10 minutes ago if my team actually did more properly. Anyways, um, this is pretty much how you play against the new Volibear, something that you guys have been asking for almost every day now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm going to leave the full build in the description. So don't forget to check that out. Also, don't forget to check out my stream, guys. Currently doing the Unranked Master uh, with Variety Champions and all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, don't forget to check out my stream, guys. Also, don't forget to uh, come on my Discord server. We actually have a Discord server. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys up in the next video. Peace.